little drive-in movie maniacs, we are here at the Hellions of Hollywood tour at Davies Uptown, and I am here with Nero Bellum from Cyclone 9. Nero, welcome to Drive-In Movie Maniacs, my friend. Oh, thank you for having me. How are you doing this evening? Fantastic, Fantastic. as always. <laughs> great, great. Tell us a little bit about this tour you are on, the Hellions of Hollywood tour with uh, Dawn of Ashes. What has it been like being on tour with your arch enemy, Christoph? <laughs> He's not my arch enemy. <laughs> we we uh, used to not get along a long time ago, and I don't know. We became friends over the past few years. Um, we started working on a project with my guitar player. And my guitar player brought it to my attention that we actually had a lot in common. You know, the same age, also the same old crappy metal bands like Wasp and Megadeth and stuff. And Excellent Wasp. Yeah, I love, I love Wasp. Wasp, great band, great band. Yeah, Blacky so Lost. <clears throat> we got along pretty well. And then uh, I worked on that Poisoning Steps of Babel song with him. And, um, one thing led to another, you know, his album was going to come out around the same time as mine. Excellent, felt, excellent. It, felt, it just fell into favor, you guys want to do it together? Yeah, sure, and that was it. And how did the whole tour come about? Uh, I just set it up, I mean, nothing nothing too special, it was a conversation we were having in his house, I think we were drunk, like, we should tour together. Okay, make a phone call. Excellent, excellent. And of course, you are hard at work at your new album. Act of Shadows. What is it? The Order, Order of, of Shadows. Order of the Shadow, Act 1. Act 1, that's right. Act and 1. it is done. We just turned it in uh, to the label. When uh, is it due for release? November 12th, I think. November 12th. A fan 12th. told me yesterday. I, mean, I didn't <laughs> a remember fan. it was. <laughs> that's pretty good stuff. A uh, fan. Yeah. Um, Chris Brenna from Nice Nails and Manson did like the production. And my engineer, Jameson Boaz, from uh, he did We the Fallen. Mm. Um, I think it turned out really good. It's a lot more rock-centric than anything I've done. I was going to ask you that next. Uh, your sound has changed quite a bit over the last few years. Yeah, I, I tend to rebel against everything I do with every album. Yeah. You know, once everyone starts getting used to kind of the new thing, I kind of move ahead just a little bit. Keep it fresh. Yeah, I like to keep it fresh. And with this one, I stripped it down a lot as opposed to trying to make it more grand wall or anything. I want it to be, like, a lot smaller. Like, you know, imagine a live band playing Cyclone 9 songs. Right. You know, like just real instruments and like minimal synthesizers and stuff like that and I thought that would be like the next and what influenced this new album what influenced you to uh, with the, the 90s the 90s no seriously like um, the fact that none of these kids have anything like Antichrist Superstar or like Downward Spiral to listen to or Broken <coughs> you know, this, this is true on. this is true there, there are other bands that like are trying to emulate that kind of stuff that yeah. look like us and everything and they're just not doing it right <coughs> they're trying to do all the gold need to go test shit and it sucks that whole 90s thing with like Ministry and all those great bands that had great albums out in the 90s and, and we don't have those iconic records coming out like we used to, but now we do with Order of Shadows if you ask me. I'm, I'm pretty excited about this one myself. So uh. Actually, I'm very excited about this one. Usually I get really afraid before an album comes out, you know, oh God, this is going to bomb. And but this is something you've been hard at work at for a while. You know, this is an idea actually, that you've had yeah. for years. Yeah, um, there was going to be like a lot more tracks on the album. I stripped it down, like uh, just like the core songs that I like the most. You know, <coughs> excuse my coughing. <coughs> oh, you're on the road for a month. I'm like pretty sick. We know you're tired and you're on tour and all these I'm things dying. happen. So it's all good. Dying. It's all good, my friend. So tell us a little bit. Uh, uh, what other current projects might you have going that you might give us the down low on here, like a little secret project or anything uh, like that going? I mean, I, I have little things that I can't really talk about. Of course, um, I, I really can't, you know, because I, you don't want to be that guy that says something that doesn't happen. Exactly, I know that feeling. Yeah, a lot much of like guys. this TV show. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I'm just doing some guest appearances here and there. With some people. I might work with Chris Renna on like some tweaker stuff. Oh my goodness. You know, just, what? just for fun, on his next record. There you we go. talked about it. Who knows? You know, um, I am doing a remix album actually already for Order of the Shadow. So I'm reaching out to all my friends' bands, and they're like remixing, remixing the all your like songs? every track Excellent. on the album, so we can actually have something for the clubs. So any any bands you can mention that might be doing some of these remixes? Uh, Dawn of Ashes, Chris Brenna, um, Jameson Boaz, the engineer. He has another band called Modern Weapons. It's really fucking awesome. Uh, Adam Vex is in there. He was in that. Um, heard a reaction. Um, I don't know. I was going to try to hit up my friends and like see was like Mando and all the different club bands and everything again and see if they were interested. Uh, but mostly just friends. I wanted to ask you something I've always wondered about you. A lot of people compare you to Skinny Puppy, Cradle of Filth, and, and I see you guys as kind of a, in between that a little bit. You know, you got the... Well, I mean, uh, you know, we all borrow from our, our influences. Who you are you, Who are some of your influences? Well, it's kind of wide is the thing. I think that's why we're so Besides separate. Wasp. Uh, yeah, I mean, well, really, I mean, Megadeth was like 
my biggest influence for starting a band, but obviously we don't sound like them. But uh, I say like White Zombie, um, White Zombie, Nine Inch Nails, Marilyn Manson, Skinny Puppy, Velvet Acid Christ. Uh, all excellent bands. Yeah, yeah. I just I kind of wanted to like take all this dark music and just mix it up into a pot. Uh, you know, Cradle, Ian Borgier. Of course. I'm good yeah. friends with Danny Phil, actually. Oh, really? He was a it. fucking asshole to me when I met him. You know that? <laughs> and hey, Danny can be that way. He was very sweet to me, much like you've been to me. Oh. So. Nero's a good guy. Well, tell know. him to buy me a fucking drink and there you we'll go. wake up and kill Danny him. Phil, buy Nero a drink, damn it. There you go, my friend. So I, I have to ask you this, because we are a horror show. Mm -hmm. What was your favorite horror movie? I know, I know Cyclone 9 samples oh. a lot of movies and, oh, and very influenced by the horror. It's really hard to say. Like, I really like Return of the Living Dead 3. You know, 3. The, the chicken very specific. In it? Yeah, the one with the chicken in it. She was putting the glass Excellent. to her yes, yes. tits and everything. Yes, yes. I'm so hungry and all that. Yes. That one was really awesome. That really stuck with me as a kid. But, um, of course, all the, you know, Hellraiser 1 and 2. Oh, my gosh. My phone went off in the middle of an interview. Oh, no. good. You got Trent stuck in your pocket. It's all these ladies. Yeah, I had a little Trent Reznor. Nine, speaking of Nine Inch Nails, my gosh, they just burst out of my chest. You're so unprofessional. Very unprofessional of us. Oh, well. At, at least it was Nine Inch Nails, right? Right? It's good stuff. Good stuff. So uh, I, have to, I have to ask you, have you ever been to a drive-in movie theater? I have. I saw Spice World. Spice World at the drive-in, my goodness. I did, I really did, I swear to God. Are you sure you want the people out there to know about that one? <laughs> oh God, I had a, the Posh Spice fucking poster and everything. Excellent, oh, she was pretty hot. She was hot. She's still hot. Yeah, well, I was a teenager, you know. Bend it like Beckham, you know what I'm saying, hey. Uh, yeah. I was feeling what she was dishing out. Good stuff, good stuff. And I, and I understand that uh, you have a, a, a girlfriend that's a, a, a playmate? Uh, well, I mean, yeah, she did a couple recent shoots for Playboy, and oh, yeah, I'm pretty So proud. you're not doing so bad yourself, my friend. I'm very, very, very happy. Very blessed. The man is blessed. And he's on tour. And you can catch him. Where, where, where can people keep up with you? What, where, what's your website? Oh, uh, just go to Facebook and look up Cyclone 9. That's the easiest way to keep up with everything that's going on. There you go. The Facebook page right there. Yeah. Very good stuff. Go. Excellent. Mr. Bellum, thank you for being on the show. Well, thanks for having me. Awesome man. stuff. You, you get back to the movie, and we're going to show you some live footage of Cyclone 9 as well. So. <laughs>